Here's another little bird box. This is in what we call the plum orchard, where my grandfather planted loads of plum trees. And their rootstock is now a kind of scrub plum and is one of the first blossoming trees here in this little orchard called the plum orchard. Here is the, here's another bird box. I go crazy with bird boxes since the neighbors trim all their hedges. I want bird boxes everywhere here on our small little farm for birds to build their nests in. So you can see there's two more there, one on the right and one on the left. I also have bird feeders here. That one's empty. Um, I need to refill that actually. But this one here, this one here has the uh, fat balls in it. So I'm gonna refill the bird seed feeder. But these are all bird boxes all over our farm are these. Here you can see this is the lean-to shed in the garden paddock. And you can see here are more bird boxes. These are on cherry trees. We have one lower down that's attached to that shed. The woods are behind. Then you can see another bird box right up there on that cherry tree all the way up there. And then, this is the gate to the orchard. Up in the orchard, there's all kinds of assortments of uh, bird boxes and places for birds to nest. You can see over here, this is along this wall, there's a bird box right up there in that plum tree, all the way up there. And there's another one in that scrub plum over there, well hidden up in the branches from corvids. Mind you, it's not hidden from cats, but one hopes the cats will not find the birds uh, too soon after they've nested. And hopefully lots of birds will be able to fledge. But in under this tree here, you can see there's two more bird boxes right there and there. They're up high, you can see. So there's no, um, hopefully, cat interference, but the birds will be able to get in and out. So you can hear the birds all around. They're nesting all over the place as well. And then this one's up in this pear tree. This that's up against the wall. So there's that one. Then along here, there's places in the wall where birds are nesting. And this isn't one that I made. I've made other nest locations in walls. But in here, right in there, a number of years, there have been birds that have nested in there. So you can always, they haven't um, this year, or rather last year. So hopefully they will again this year. So as you know, this is the orchard, our small little orchard that had a mega pruning. And here again, I have loads of bird boxes that I've hung, one there. And you can see there's three in a row, one there, two over there. So there's like four bird boxes just in this area alone. So hopefully we'll get lots of birds interested in nesting here. But then I'll show you the, uh, our stone wall nest boxes as well that had residents in it last year. And there's a resident bat in one of them this year. So those are more of our nest boxes. So this length of wall is a boundary wall that we repaired and um, the neighbor knew about it and everything. And we kept as many of the trees as possible on our boundary. But within these, this wall, I was putting little nests for birds. 
like wrens. And you can see this one is used. This was used last year as nest. There's a bit of nest material in it. So hopefully somebody maybe will, maybe that's this year's, maybe somebody's gonna use that one. This one over here was used definitely last year. Where is it? There, that one was used. So that's been used since we made it, the year, the winter that we built it, it was used that spring and the following spring. So these are all kind of natural, if you will. You can see the stone wall builders had a lovely time designing the entrances. So we made one every, so every distance along this wall. This one here is actually been taken over by bats, which is fine. I love it that we have bats nesting in our walls or living in our walls. You can see all the bat shit, really, really rich stuff. So that down the road I can get a spoon and collect that and give that to plants in the garden because it's the best fertilizer for roses and the like. So as we go up this wall, there are more nest houses. Here's another one. And nobody's using it yet. So hopefully there'll be more um, birds using our homemade nests or bats. I don't mind who it is who um, takes up accommodation. It's uh, rent-free premises. All they have to do is reproduce. Here's another one right here. And they continue on up this whole length of this wall. We have at every certain distance, some of them we've done with natural bits of stone. Oh, I've just put my hand in some bird shit. A bird must be inspecting the wall. Oh, yuck. I'll have to wipe it on the grass, clean it off. But um, some of them are very natural um, bird accommodations. And this is one of the people that we don't want to find out where the bird accommodations are. But they're down off of the height of the wall enough that a cat can't reach in. So here's another one. So we have loads of them all the way up this wall that um, Oven Mitt and his ilk, we hope. Look at this one. This is a very elaborate entranceway. So these are the... Um, bird nests that people like you are not supposed to have anything to do with. Look at him, he's looking at the where we've got it. So there we go, the cat. The cat with the birds. Anyway, there we go. I do love this one, this is very elaborate. This is the Orchard Laneway and I've hung bird boxes up here as well. So here are two bird boxes. So hopefully they will receive residence. Rent free accommodation for Boyd's. So that's two more. Good old Pepper. He's had a stroll around. We're now gonna go down for coffee. Isn't that right? You good boy. Yes. You good boy. Good old pet. We've had our bird tree walk. Bird house walk. Now there's one bird nest that was built in the shed. So I'm looking forward to see if it's gonna be, if residents are gonna take up, uh, retake up residents. It's over here inside the shed. So there, a bird built a nest. So far it's empty, but it's, the season is only just beginning. So hopefully there'll be more birds nesting all over the place.
There's no more, there's no other nests in here that I can think of or that I've seen. Not that I can think of, I can't think of anything. So there's nothing under here yet. You never know. You never ever know. Oh, Pep. 